Hi, my name is Trujie Hong from the batch of 2019. I was from class 4D and 19A13A. Today, I want to dedicate this time to three teachers who have made a profound impact in my life. Mrs. Sharon Tan, Mrs. Nicola Perry, and Mr. Gavin Sweet. Mrs. Tan, I think the word teacher doesn't fully encapsulate uh, your role in my life. I think more than that, you've been a mentor figure. Your history ra lessons have inspired me to explore more about myself, more about my role in the community around me, and sparked an interest in the humanities in me, uh, and I haven't looked back since. So thank you so much for that. Mrs. Perry, thank you for being a wonderful form teacher and for doing what you do every single day. I think uh, it's hard to find someone to replace the passion uh, and the uh, draw the vif that you have every single day. Um, and the way that you teach your Pride and Prejudice lectures, for example, I believe have imparted in me some British sensibilities, but more than that, important life lessons that I'll carry with me for years and years to come. And lastly, Mr. Gavin Spee, thank you so much for challenging me to explore my boundaries, go beyond them, um, and inspire me to do better and to be a better person every single day. I think um, your contributions are understated, but I just want to say here that they've made a very, very big impact in my life. With that, I just want to say a big thank you to all the teachers here. Happy Teachers' Day. And it is because of you and your efforts that we have the hope of a better age. Thank you. Hi, I'm Arthur Nyam, who joined RI at Bras Basta Road Campus in 1961, from Sec 1 to Till Pre My maths and science teacher were Mr. M. K. Sharma, Fu Don Wan, and Moses State, who kindled my interest in science and maths. My upper secondary and pre U science and maths, maths and science teachers were Mr. Xin Kwai Ming, Ms. Hua Sui Liang, and Mr. Sigamani, who aroused my curiosity in laser, which resulted in me going into the optical media industry. After pursuing my tertiary course in optics, my interest in optics and optical media still continue up to today, and I just received my latest Photonic Spectrum magazine of July 2021. Thank you. Hi, we're here to talk about Mr. Indraniti Sivasami, who is the RI Hockey Master from 1994 to 2002. Now, uh, I never met Noel in school, um, but uh, we're still best of friends, and uh, Mr. Indra probably has a big part to play in that. The impact that he had uh, on us, on our lives, and the experiences shared was such that. 20 years on, uh, even now when we, when the hockey alumni get together, we're still talking about him. You know, the, this legacy that he left is not only uh, his friendships that we were made, the experiences that we shared, but he left indelible mark on Raffles, which was the creation of Raffles Hockey Club. It was created in uh, 2002, just as he was actually leaving his teaching post in RI. Um, and this hockey club is a hockey club uh, for Raffles alumni, where we play under uh, Raffles, the common Raffles banner, and it's run by students. And you know, it, it was really a his brainchild. He taught himself why why play under different different clubs, which is what we were doing at that point of time. Um, and the club has grown from strength to strength, and it's really a legacy that he that he left all for all of us. As a RI hockey teacher in charge, he was there for every training, be it morning or evening. But come uh, towards the end of the year. He used to round up all the hockey boys, and especially those in Sec 3 and Sec 4, and he used to spend time with us, tutoring us in physics, uh, making sure that we passed our exams. Yeah, I didn't get it man, when, I was in, when I was in school. So only, only later on, when we left school, when we were much older, we realised that that was his way of showing us uh, his love and his dedication to our growth, more than just hockey. You know, you know his dedication was like, it was, it was understated, he never like blew his own trumpet. Uh, but yeah, it was really like the amount of effort that he put in for, for us as uh, hockey members was, was crazy. You know, we, we had all these very important and memorable hockey camps. Right? I'm sure you remember, yeah. we went to Malaysia. And this was, was time that he spent on you know, his own personal time. But what, what really stuck with me was this, these sessions where we had, when we were in secondary four, we used to 
cross the causeway on Friday evenings after school to play against a Johor school. And he would, in his car, ferry us over, bring the hockey equipment over, and after the game, bring all of us back. We were just thinking, it's a Friday evening, it's the end of a long week for, especially for teachers. Uh, and, and he sacrificed that for us so we, we, we could get better. What other teacher would do it, really? Yeah, and uh, in some ways, he's still doing it. Just a couple of years back, uh, Mr. Indra actually organized a chalet for us, and more than 50 people turned up from over 10 to 15 batches. Yeah, almost. At least, yeah. Um, and um, we were sitting down and reminiscing about the times with Mr. Indra. Um, so, Mr. Indra, on behalf of all these years of uh, students that you have, you have coached and you have nurtured, for your dedication and love, for nurturing us from young boys to men, and for bringing us together as a family, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. This is Arai. Inila Arai.